All right, let's do this. Good afternoon, Internet. Eric Arnold coming to you from the sports barn. It is Friday afternoon, January 10th, I believe, here in the sports barn. Um, we're getting you an afternoon show here. Uh, so take you into the weekend. Uh, plus, uh, I probably am not going to want to do this video in the middle of the night on a weekend. Uh, we'll have to play that one by ear. Um, well, big big losing night last night. 0 for 3. Sucks. Sucks. Um, I think a few days ago, uh, I was coming out to the barn to shoot one of these. My wife said, well, don't you go out there angry. Uh, yeah, okay, whatever. I mean, uh, you're going to get what you get. Uh, um, uh, I'll do the best I can not to come out here and act like a crazy person. Uh, but when I'm pissed, you're going to know it. Uh, it, it. It's been some time since the game's ended, so I'm not pissed. I'm, I'm just, there's that low level of annoyance, you know. Uh, nobody likes to lose, and boy, we did a good job of that last night. Uh, old business. Louisiana Tech uh, loser. And they were a five and a half point favorite. They lost 89 to 73. Uh, come to find out, apparently San Antonio has one kid that takes all their shots. Uh, and I guess he made them all last night. Uh, either that or whatever kid from Louisiana Tech was supposed to guard him stayed home. So they got blown out. That was over by halftime. Loser. Uh, this one we, for some reason, thought would win a three-star selection there. Uh, NC, North Carolina, Wilmington. Loser, 79-63. We were getting 12 and a half points. Um, it looked like it might get there, and then you know, William & Mary just kind of pulled away in the second half. So that's a loser. And then lastly, Coastal Carolina. That one, oh man, we had like a... I think we had like an 11-point lead there at halftime, and they just couldn't hold it. They just fell apart in the second half to bring home the third loser of the night, 78-66. Loser, 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 making our overall record now 7-6, which looks so ugly. It was so pretty 24 hours ago when I said 7-3, and, and I was all excited, doing little dances. I'm not doing any little dances now. Uh, this is just annoying. But I guess overall, you know, all told, uh, seven wins, six losses. I think the math on that works out to 53.8%, uh, I think. Um, eh, you know, that, that, that's not far off my target winning percentage. So it's a small sample. We're, we're just getting going here. So let's not uh, set the world on fire. But we're not here to talk about college basketball. We're here to talk about the National Football League, which is what you care about anyway. Um, so let's get into that. Um, I think I had a couple comments here from uh, one of my two subscribers. Um, had some questions about what's over here. Again, this is all stuff I did off camera before I started making these videos, which, you know, again... You don't know me, so this could all be bullshit. Um, it's not bullshit. It, it, this is what we did. Um, the, the years correspond to the sports year. Uh, in other words, 2018, 2019, that's the sport year. So, you know, 2019, that would have been this year. That's still this year in the NFL. Uh, 2019 in NCAA, that would have been last March. Uh, so if that clarifies that for you, um, the numbers, um, he suggested that we, uh, pick one sport book and just say that it's from that sport book. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to do that. I'll, I'll give that one some thought. Uh, I, I think one of the keys, if you're, you know, a true degenerate looking to really win, I mean, to get that edge is to have multiple accounts open in multiple sport books rather than being just locked into the one where you may or may not get the best price on a game. If you have multiple outs, then you can pick and choose as to who has the best number. Um, you know, as we saw earlier this week, 
uh, we lost uh, by, you know, I think it was a point, point and a half, you know, so it happens. And I, it happens more than you think that a game will fall right on the number or one a, a half point either way, and then you really want to have that half point in your favor. Uh, so there, there's a few comments on that. Um, I think that's all we have there. So let's just move right in here to the NFL. The first game we got on board, Vikings out there at San Francisco. They are seven point underdogs to the number one seed 49ers. Uh, this one I struggled with. I mean, I went back and forth. Actually, all these games, I, I, I actually took time and read and researched and tried to come up with the right answer, uh, which probably means they're all going to be wrong. Usually, it seems like the ones I can look at in five, ten minutes give you the answer. Those are all right. Uh, the ones I got to study and think about, eh, you know, hmm, flip the coin. Let's hope it's better than that. I mean, I have won some of these games, damn it. Uh, but let's, uh, let's see what happens. This one I feel the least comfortable with, but I'm coming down with the Vikings on this one. And hey, here's the reasoning. I think they've got an edge at coach. I think they're an underrated team. Uh, the coach is Mike Zimmer, who's probably the best coach you've never heard of. Uh, this guy is against the spread record. It's just, it's unbelievable. I mean, it's, it's like 60%, which is, I don't know, I think that's probably, uh, for the number of games that he's coached, which is pretty many, uh, I would say that's better than, uh, probably better than Belichick, it's better than Andy Reid, you know, it's up there. So, I think we're getting some value there. Um, I looked at the stats, they seem pretty even, you know, uh, obviously, the Niners will have an advantage. They're at home. Um, they have a week off to rest. Uh, but seven points, that's seven points. I mean, you can lose and still win. You know, the, the 49ers win by a field goal. Winner for the Viking betters. Uh, so I, I, I'm going to come down with the Vikings on this. Uh, I, I'm hoping... The Vikings are able to keep it close. Uh, I don't... Uh, a lot of the public gets bashing the hell out of old Kirk Cousins. Uh, especially around here. Everyone from Philadelphia thinks he sucks because he played for the Redskins. Well, Christ, you could put Johnny Unitas on the Redskins, he'd suck. I mean, that, that team is a just a... You know, Daniel Snyder screws everything he touches. And uh, uh, so Kirk Cousins... No, uh, no, uh, he's the same. Uh, so I, I don't know he's that bad. Um, Jimmy Garoppolo, other than look good, you know, he hasn't won anything yet. So, you know, he's still an unknown quantity. Uh, we're going to go with the Vikings here. And I lost my marker. There, one star. That's how good I feel about that. Uh, we're just going to have NFL picks for you here in this video. I think we're going to cut a second video because uh, subscriber X said his attention span lasts 15 minutes. Um, so, yeah, that's fair. I don't know if this will be 15 minutes. I hung a clock up and then I forgot to look in when I started this video. So, I guess it's pointless as the, the clock if I don't actually read it and think about it. Uh, one star for the Vikings. That's my weakest pick. Uh, the Saturday night game, we got the Titans getting nine and a half against the Ravens. Um, well, we like the Ravens. Uh, 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 a friend of mine is a big Tennessee fan. Yeah, they actually exist apparently. Um, and he hates Baltimore for multiple reasons. Uh, to hear him tell it, they killed his father. Uh, I've never met his father, so that could be true. Uh, but I think that the Ravens are just a juggernaut that you just, as a batter, I, I wouldn't want to get in front of them. I mean, uh, they've got something going I like to call the Walter White theory. When you like look at some of these stats on the internet as far as wins, losses, against the spread, usually there's two columns. There's the straight up column and the against the spread column. So, did I win the game? W. Did I cover the spread? W. Well, if 
if you look at the Ravens uh, columns there, you see a lot of this. Walter White, WW. That just goes right down there. Especially the last like six weeks. So, I don't know. I, I, I just think that's a, a team that's really on a roll, and I don't know I want to get in front of it. I mean, they score points. They've got experience, got a good experience coach. Um, Lamar Jackson has experience in the playoffs. Uh, he lost, but I, 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 losing one time in the playoffs is not necessarily something to be ashamed of. I think you learn by losing, as long as it's not, you know, at a certain point you're just a loser if you do it over and over and over again. But one loss uh, perhaps has taught him things. And uh, that's a unique system that they run there offensively in Baltimore. And now uh, Tennessee on a short week has to figure that out. Uh, There's a lot to ask, a lot to ask. I mean, Baltimore, I think, is just significantly better than Tennessee. And Tennessee's just going to have to prove it to me. I, I don't believe it. Um, well, they beat me last week. I had the Patriots. I didn't think Tennessee was going to beat them. So who knows? They might stick it to me again. But... Uh, we're going to back the Ravens here. We feel pretty good about that one. So, two stars for that. Uh, let's see. Texans versus uh, the Chiefs. Well, old Andy Reid, and there's never any quest for a Super Bowl. Um, once again, is all set up as a nine and a half point favorite. Um, which that would tell, you know, you, the better, that they're very much expected to go to the championship game. Um, Andy, I'm not going to buy it. I'm just not buying it, Andy, sorry. Um, he's, he's money in the regular season. You know, there are certain spots in the regular season where you can just pencil in the Chiefs, and Andy Reid and expect to win. And he more than often, more than not, will win those games and cover the spread. Uh, in the playoffs, it's real hit or miss with this guy, especially uh, when it gets down to the crunch time. Now, this isn't exactly crunch time. It's not like it's a championship game or something. But nevertheless, uh, we think that the Texans are in no way, shape, or form nine and a half points worse than the Chiefs. I mean, they beat these guys, for Christ's sake, out there earlier this season. Uh, and, and I don't remember who was hurt or who was, and I think Mahomes was on the field for that game. I don't think that was part of the uh, one of the Mahomes injuries this year. So I, I'm not buying that the Texans have so many injuries that it makes them unplayable. They just beat a good Bills team. Uh, I think that the Texans are going to muck it up, do enough, hug these guys tight enough to keep it close and cover that nine and a half. Um, two stars for that one. And then lastly, lastly, we have the night game on Sunday. Uh, the Packers up at Green Bay. Uh, our four and a half point favorites over the Seahawks, uh, who beat my Eagles last Sunday. And on this one, I guess I'm just coming at this as a, a somewhat of an Eagle fan. Um, the Eagles played the majority of that game with a guy who probably shouldn't have been on the field at all. <laughs> I mean, a 40 year old backup who hasn't played all year, who at some point during the game tore his hamstring. And the Seahawks managed to win that game 17-9 with the Eagles on the doorstep to tie the game at the end of the game. Now, how the hell good could the Seattle be? I, 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 that's the question I'm thinking. Uh, they should have blown the Eagles out of Philadelphia. And that's not a great Eagles team. Even if Wentz hadn't gotten hurt, it's still not a great Eagles team. And they uh, managed 17-9. Uh, that just doesn't rings to me as a, a, a sign of strength. I think perhaps this Seahawk team has gone about as far as they can go. Uh, my brother and I, we both discussed this game, the weakness we think, and you know, we're pretty ignorant, 
But we think the weakness of the Packers team, from what we saw when the Eagles beat them earlier in the year, is you can run on them. Well, I don't know who Seattle's going to run. Uh, Marshawn Lynch is, I, I think it's impractical to think that this guy's just going to come on off the street and dominate. Uh, I just don't, not buying it. Nope, not buying it. And I love Russell Wilson. I think he's the best quarterback in football. But Aaron Rodgers can't be that far behind him in that conversation. Uh, Aaron Rodgers is at home. This could be one of Aaron Rodgers' last good chances to win another ring. I think you're going to get the best of the Packers on Sunday. And I think they're going to cover that number. I think they're going to cover it easily. Um, so we'll see. Um, but we're definitely taking the Packers. Two stars for that one. So that's what we have for you NFL-wise this weekend. It's going to be a big weekend of football. Um, like I said, I intend to cut another video right after this one with a handful of uh, off-the-map college basketball games if you're a real degenerate. I think actually the college basketball games I was looking at are all one o'clock games because generally I start at the top of the schedule and then I just run out of time before I get to the late games. But that works out perfect because all these games are before the 4.30 uh, kickoff uh, of the uh, 49er game. So I, I, I'm, I'm thinking in my head, I doubt one of them's on TV, maybe one of them. So uh, what can you do there? But, uh, so to sum up, we like the Vikings, the Ravens, the Texans, and the Packers. Uh, so that's what we got for you this weekend. Uh, like I said, we're going to have one more video here now. And then, I don't know when the next video is going to be. Uh, uh, maybe Sunday night. Haven't quite decided that yet. Is uh, We're still working the schedule out. Uh, it's all in a fluid situation. It's all in flux. So who knows? Uh, all right, so that's it from me to you. Good afternoon. Thanks for being here. Oh, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Do that other stuff that builds my my army uh, 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 to make me feel like continuing doing this. And I appreciate it very much. Thank you.